Martínez. everyone to game three of this Western Conference semifinal. We'll be bringing you another exciting broadcast of NBA playoff basketball right here on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Golden State Warriors here in Chase Center. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. And now the Lakers starting group, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope and Harrell's in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Golden State, Wiseman's out there with Draymond Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Oubre in at the two. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They easily took Thursday's game. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Plenty of heart and hustle in that regard. I mean, they made sure to hit the glass hard and often. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. Here's Wiggins. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yep, and an opportunity for one more at the line. Wiggins with the toughness to finish through contact. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line of the Warriors, Andrew Wiggins. One shot. With one. Free throw good, Wiggins. You know, there's no question the talent is there for Wiggins. It's obvious, but can he take that next leap forward and become a superstar? He may be destined to be a good second star on the team and maybe not the leading guy. Now here is Davis. Trying to find Schroeder, gets it to him. It's good. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the evening. from Schroeder. 
and just about a minute into the first quarter. Caldwell Pope again through Bray. Outside Curry. Releases. LeBron grabs the miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Here's Caldwell Pope. Wiggins with some nice deep. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Here's Wiseman. And finished off by Wiseman. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Green following the bucket by the Lakers. Oubre, no one around him. Misses off the left iron. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Frank Vogel had a few minutes to share with me. He said, obviously, they need to retake home court advantage. And that's what makes tonight's game absolutely critical. He told me, the guys understand what we have to do. They're determined to recapture the edge we earned during the regular season. Kevin, it's easy to see why this is such an important game for them. Back to you. Thank you, David. Wiggins against Schroeder. And it's Wiggins missing. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Caldwell Pope right side. Back to LeBron. And LeBron throws it down. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Curry gets the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Wiggins with the block. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Oh, oh the power on that through down. Goodness. Spectacular move. Wiggins elevation, body control, strength, elite across the board. To the inside. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh my goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley-oop. Now here's Curry. Shoots over Schroeder. It's blocked. Passes it to Davis. James outside. And the dunk by LeBron. Hard to play better defense than that, guys. I mean, but right there, James simply overpowered it. Warriors trail by four. Outside Curry. It's rebounded by Schroeder. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Down low. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You just have to discipline yourself not to fall for James Pump fake because as soon as he gets you up in the air, you're done. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. Free throw drops for James. Amongst the many things that I appreciate most about LeBron James, and there are a lot, his leadership. I mean, everybody else just kind of naturally falls into place behind him because he's such a good example and a positive leader. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Eric Pascal comes in for Green. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Oubre. And it's Damian Lee in for Curry. Both shots good from the strike. And so Bazemore will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Six-point game. Out left to the wing.
Kuzma outside. Back to LeBron. And the Lakers with another miss. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Lee gets the bucket. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. To the middle. LeBron trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Caruso. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And here is Lee. Pass to Bazemore. Fade away. Rebounded by the Lakers. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Morea, the pass to Caruso. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Pascal. Golden State moving the ball around. Looney kicks to Lee. Kuzma against Pascal. Four on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Lakers leading by six. Now here's LeBron. Ten points for him. Lays it up and banks it in. LeBron's got 12. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now, here's Pascal. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. They've got the five on three advantage. Here's Caruso. Traps in the tray. And now an 11-point Laker lead. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Bazemore gets the bucket. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Los Angeles has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. To the paint. And J.J. Barea, the bucket on the assist by LeBron. And the Lakers lead by 11. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Warriors girls. The inside. From the left block, he sends it through. Lee's got his second bucket of the night. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. LeBron passes to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. 
Now Bazemore. Inside. Haskell against Kuzma. Shot clock at six. Haskell kicks it to Bazemore. No good on the three. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. 13-point lead. Down low. And James throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now here's Lee. Curry passes to Lee. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Lee's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, Curry is so impressive. His peripheral vision is what makes him unique, in addition to his ball handling skills. He does a nice job setting up his teammates and knows how to get them the ball when they're open. He's more against James. And the dunk by LeBron. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Now, here's Pascal. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To the inside, Bazemore. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Caruso looking for an opening. There's the pass to James. Here's the three. And that one's good, Caruso. Caruso's got eight points. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We've got more in store for you right after this. And earlier, we got a few words from Marc Gasol regarding his former teammate in Toronto, Kawhi Leonard. The way he plays defensively, you know what he stands for um, and how competitive he is. I mean, I don't need somebody to bang his chest or, like, scream or, like, be one of those guys to know if you're competitive or not. Like, I think that's the way he is, and, and I respect that. And, and he's actually a really good, you know, teammate and, and vocal and speaks when he needs to speak. And, of course, Gasol and Leonard won the championship together in 2019, largely, Greg, because of their ability to play defense and get stops. And two former Defensive Players of the Year on the same team, that's going to be your foundation. But both guys were tremendous at the other end as well, albeit in different ways. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. Taking a look at the Lakers. Anthony Davis is out there with Montrez Harrell. Then it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Kuzma in at the three spot. Now here is Davis. There are very few that can handle and battle with Davis inside. I mean, he's got really tremendous strength and agility and a nice touch. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And that one falls for Davis. You know, I tell you what, you can make a case he's the best player in the league. Davis is really the total package, both ends of the floor, and he continues to get better. That one is no good. Warriors trail by 15. We played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Beisman kicks it to Beisman. Yeah. 
And Davis sends it back. Davis's anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot blocking machine. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Now here's Curry. Pass to Wiseman. Great D that time from Harrell. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage in. As a result, they've got a big lead. Now here's Caldwell Pope after James Wiseman's miss. Here's Kuzma. Harrell trying to free himself up. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Caldwell Pope. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And the basket by Curry. And Curry certainly is clever and crafty. Trickery is part of his arsenal when he gets inside. I mean, I like seeing him do his thing close to the basket. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. change here. Wiggins is checked in. On defense, the Warriors trailing by 17. Schroeder finds Kuzma. Doesn't go that time. And Golden State will come the other way. Pushing it up. And finished off by Wiseman. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Schroeder. Nails the 16-footer. Schroeder's got five. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten them into the hole. And this has to fire Green up. Whenever he dunks it like that, it gets the whole team energized. Here's Schroeder. Great D that time from Green. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, first concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Green. With one. Mind the length. Mind the length. One shot. That's good from Green. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. Now, here's Kuzma. Caldwell Pope outside. Five on the clock. Shoots over Oubre. Here's Harrell. It's deflected. Here's Wiggins. Count that one. Seven points in the game. Trying to employ physical defense against Wiggins, but this young man powers right through it. Very impressive. Schroeder with the ball. 
He's got five. He kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Kuzma against Kerr. Count that one. Kuzma's got six. Boy, that's exactly the kind of strength Kuzma has to show, guys. I mean, take that contact, expect it, and still be able to convert. You've got to do that at this level. Now here's Wiseman. Green deciding where to go with it. Back to Curry. Fires from deep. Happy to see that one go in. He's shooting four for ten with that basket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Davis kicks it over to Schroeder. Back to Davis. Over Wiggins. Here's Harrell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on James Wiseman. This is his first free throw of the game. That's good from Harrell. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiseman. Eric Pascal comes in for Green. And it's Damian Lee in for Kelly Oubre. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Anthony Davis. LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma. J.J. Barea's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And both free throws good for Harrell. Warriors trail by 11. Here's Curry. Nine points in the game so far. A quick shot there, and it's off target. And here's Berea. Floats it up for James. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Lee finds Curry. Shot from the top of the key. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers leading by 11. From deep, Perea. Los Angeles with another miss. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Curry passes to Pasco. Fades. No good, shot missing. And it's the Lakers the other way. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Weight room muscle on display there, James. Even when he gets hit, he can still score. The Lakers have shot 6-7 of seven at the line. Free throw good, LeBron. Warriors trail by 14. Outside Curry. Lee outside. Here's Pascal. No good that time. Great D that time from Harrell. And Caruso's got the ball here for Los Angeles. And Harrell slams it in. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Will it go? And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Lee. And that's 11 points for Steph Curry. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Pass to James. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. 
An outstanding defensive play to earn the Mobile One block. And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Steph Curry. Kent Bazemore. Caruso kicks to Berea. Lock at six. And stolen by Bazemore. And there's the foul. Here we go on Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. Pass to Looney. Golden State moving it around. Berea against Wiggins. It energizes everybody when LeBron is locked in like this on the defensive end. Second-chance shot outside for Gasol. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Lakers lead by 17. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. And they double up LeBron. And there's the pass to Gasol. Here's Caruso. From downtown. It's rebounded by Golden State. Now the Warriors moving it up. Nobody near Pascal. And he's way off from outside. Here's the Lakers with the ball. A big stretch here going 10-2. Caruso, the pass to James. Here's Caruso. Drops in the layup for two. Caruso's got 10 points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Now here's Bazemore. Passes it to Wiggins. 54 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And Wiggins throws it down. Wiggins just staying with it, refusing to let the defense get the better of him there. LeBron kicks to Berea. Loads it up there for Harrell. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. Now here's Lee. Six points for him. Here's Pascal. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And I don't know if he needs a rest in this quarter or what, but he needs something to get off the snide. Seven-second difference. Shot and game clock. Now Berea, six on the shot clock. He feeds it to Harrell, and Harrell slams it in. And Berea plays with a lot of confidence in the pick and roll. Very crafty and shifty, slashing and slicing the defense to pieces with his ball handling and passing. A three-pointer, Wiggins, and through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Los Angeles on top, ending the second quarter with a huge surge. An 18-7 run. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Steph, what do you think of your defense in the first half? We're a, little, we're a step late, I think. And, you know, they made tough shots. We can't take away from that. But uh, for the most part, we have to find a way to, to guard that line if they're knocking down shots to, uh, to keep them out the game. We'll see where the adjustments take you. Thanks, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Lakers, they are jumping at the opportunity to go up two games to one. If they continue on the same path they were on in the first half, that will put them in firm control of this series. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, this game has been a showcase of the King's talent, agility, power, and the shots keep falling. 
LeBron has the defense totally overwhelmed. Jack, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside, because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that'd be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference Semifinal. It's been a clinic out there by James. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green. Then there's Wiseman. Then there's Oubre. And it's Curry in at the point guard position. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Here's Wiggins off the left rim and out. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiseman. Puts it up from 12. Great D that time from Harrell. Lakers leading by 21. The three from Davis. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Shots good by Green. And like whenever Green is assertive from there, knows he can score and does just that. Right side Davis. And he drops it in from the low post. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the one for two. First one falls for him. He makes one of two that time. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Loads it up for Davis, deflects the pass, picks it out to Schroeder, takes a three, nailed from three-point land. Schroeder's got his third bucket of the night. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis, seeing the floor and making the right decision. Curry against Schroeder. With the floater, and the layup good by Curry. Curry's got 13. Such a field shot there in the floater. Pass to Schroeder. He dishes it to Harrell. Wiseman with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Outside, Green. Off target with his three. Lakers leading by 21. Schroeder, right side. An easy two points on the layup. Schroeder's got five points in the quarter. 
at the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Curry dishes to Oubre. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Curry, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Sometimes you watch Steph get a shot up. You just appreciate what you're seeing, and perhaps the best shooter of all time. Los Angeles calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Kuzma's checked in for Harold. Warriors girls. And here is Los Angeles now. Yeah. Oubre passes to Curry. And good that time. Curry's got 17 now. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's James. He's got 21. And they double up James. Davis has the open look. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got four assists now tonight. The Warriors have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Curry kicks to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Shoots over Schroeder. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Kent Bazemore is checked in for the Warriors. Kent Bazemore. Los Angeles leading by 22. LeBron James on the wing. He's covered by Bazemore. Here's Davis outside for Caldwell Pope. There's the dish to Schroeder. Just five on the clock. On deep. No good from LeBron. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And just so crafty on the drive. Curry excels at getting the D to hit him in these situations. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Lakers. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close range points. You got to have those. First free throw is good. Man, the way Curry scores the ball, whether he's driving to the rack or dropping bombs, he is fun to watch. Eric Paschal, he's checked in for the Warriors. The Lakers also with a sub. Marc Gasol's checked in for James. Stephen Curry hits them both. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. A shot that time, not on target. Curry with the defensive effort. And it's the Warriors on the break. And Davis sends it back. Schroeder outside. 
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting two. The first one falls, and the Warriors with some changes. Looney comes in for Wiseman, and it's Damian Lee in for Oubre. And the Lakers also making a switch. Caruso's checked in. Schroeder hits them both. Here's Pascal. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. On the wing, Lee. Top of the key, Looney. Here's Curry, and it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. Back to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Davis has got seven points here in this quarter. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. Timeout called the Warriors. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Lakers making a change here. Perea's checked in. Gasol with the steal. Perea with it. The pass to Gasol. Good, and it's Perea who picks up the assist. Gasol's got his second basket of the night. Boy, the confidence of Gasol on the block is really impressive to see. I mean, once he gets good positioning, he goes right to work. Passes it to Bazemore. And the layup falls. Bazemore's got six. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. And here's Berea. Good D by Lee. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Baysmore. No one around him. Good on the triple. Baysmore's got five points now in the quarter. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Here's Gasol. Five points in the game. Pass to Davis. Over Pascal. Second shot opportunity, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, just showing off that strength in that upper body. Gasol is able to overpower the defender inside. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Wiggins is checked in for Lee. And, you know, when he came into the league, Gasol's weakness was thought to be defense, but now one of the NBA's premier post-defenders. Now here's Curry. 19 points in the game. 
Pass to Wiggins. Shoots over Kuzma. And it's Wiggins missing. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. All the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. The Lakers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Shooting two. And the first one drops. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And the Warriors making a change here. Wanamaker's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Caldwell Pope's checked in. He hits both from the stripe. Now, here's Bazemore. Nine points in the game so far. Top of the key, Looney. And Davis sends it back. Rejected by Gasol. You really got to admire the reach of Gasol. He's excellent at utilizing those long arms of his to turn away shots. The pass to Bazemore. Here's Wanamaker, guarded by Kuzma. Here's Wanamaker. Yep, that one goes. Wanamaker's got his first two points of the night. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Caruso, no good. And so Bazemore will bring it up for the Warriors. Wanamaker... No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You gotta keep the ball moving, get something better. Now here's Gasol. He's got eight. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Outside, Davis, six to shoot. That one, no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. To the paint, here's Gasol. And Gasol slams it in. Yeah, and it doesn't take much elevation for Gasol to throw one down, of course, unless somebody's standing right in his way. That dunk is going to be easy money for him. Now, here's Bazemore. He's got nine. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. And you know what? That tells the story in a lot of games, guys. And here you go. It's telling the story tonight, too. Here's Caruso. And they pick up two. Caruso's got 14. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And the Warriors miss again. LA's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight and nailed five of them. Davis with the bucket. Ten points for him. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Wiggins from outside. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer. That'll do it. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. 
And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So the Lakers five right now. We've got Matthews. Morris is out there with Jared Dudley. And it's Caruso in at the point. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. The Lakers shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Caruso, the pass to Dudley. Now here's Matthews with the shot. Morris, no good. Here's Poole. Morris with the block. Here's Horton Tucker. Covered by Chris. Horton Tucker. The pass to Morris. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jared Dudley. That is his first foul of the game. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. J.J. Barea has checked in for Los Angeles. The Warriors shooting the ball at 42%. Chris in the post, covered by Morris. Mulder. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Now, here's Berea. D right on him. Makes it off the glass. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Poole. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three point play. And such focus on these difficult finishes. Chris showing tremendous will fighting through the defense. Shooting for Golden State. Marquise Chris with one. That's good from Chris. Young, rangy big man. Chris possesses a nice skill set and I think the potential to be a terrific player in our league. Now here's Berea. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. And it's blocked. Tries to keep it alive. Yeah, nice effort there in tracking down the long rebound. There's the lob to the hoop. Cool, no good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Now here's Dudley. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Wanamaker, the pass to Poole. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul called on the Los Angeles Lakers. Shooting for Golden State, Jordan Poole. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Both good from the line that time. 
For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Now Schroeder. Passes to LeBron. And here's Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at five. Nails the 16-footer. Extremely accurate from the mid-range. Caldwell Pope knows he has the touch to score from there. Pass to Wiseman. Oubre outside. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. It's stolen by Curry. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And how about mixing it up inside there? Steph, still a threat. That nimbleness he has helps him to get that shot off. And the first one at the line is good. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. And both free throws good for Curry. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now, here's Schroeder. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Los Angeles leading by 22. Davis dishes to James. Uses the glass to finish the layup. LeBron's got 23. Boy, he's fantastic at playing to his strengths. Doesn't get outside of himself. I mean, when he's scoring at an efficient clip like that, he's hard to stop. Now, here's Curry. Outside, Green. To the middle. Here's Weisman. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got 11 rebounds in the game. And it's slammed in by Davis. So smooth, so fluid, effortless, yet powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Outside, Green. Here's the teardrop. And Davis sends it back. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Timeout called the Lakers. Well, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And guys, this really has been his night. Uh, he's done a lot of things well, but 
his scoring really put him over the top. You can see how determined he's been every time he's gotten his hands on the ball. Great drive and also great focus offensively. With a chance to take command in this series, he did everything. That is the kind of killer instinct you need in the playoffs. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Wiggins is checked in for Damian Lee. Wiggins against Caldwell Pope. And it's Wiggins missing. Los Angeles has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Here's Schroeder. And again, the Lakers no good. And it's the Warriors ball. They've given up just 8 points in the 4th quarter. 18 feet out. And that one's good. Wiggins. The main area of emphasis for Wiggins moving forward has to keep knocking it down from the mid-range. James looking around. Harrell finds James. And James throws it down hard. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. Pass to Oubre. Green against Davis. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third person, the team's fourth. And it's the Warriors with the ball. And the pass to Green. Just five to shoot. Back to Wiggins. A three. And that one is off. And the Lakers take it the other way. Caldwell Poe passes to Davis. Great D that time from Oubre. Warriors shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. The shot by Curry, no good. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting the pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Back to Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Golden State's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Curry. The teardrop falls in. Curry's got 25 points. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. James against Wiggins. Unloads from nine. And that one's good. James. He's got 27. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Curry can't get it to go. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Davis looking for an opening. To the paint. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got six assists in the game. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now here's Curry, pass to Wiseman. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got eight rebounds in this game. Pass to Schroeder. 130 left to play here in the fourth. The layup off target. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Lakers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. The one player that really stands out, of Three course, one. in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. Oh. 
One shot. Free throw good, James. The Warriors shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Wanamaker looking over the floor. Chris pass to Wanamaker. Pass to Poole. And it's sent back by Morris. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. J.J. Barea has checked in for James. J.J. Barea. L.A.'s gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Barea with it. It's Matthews on the wing. The 17-footer. That shot, no good. Here's Golden State now. Here's Poole. He gets it in there. And here's Berea. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Inside. Here's Dudley. Good, and it's Berea who picks up the assist. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road. Very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. They grab their own miss. Now the pass to Poole. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Well, Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of a series, Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing that. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in.